Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Tom Hardy surprised onlookers when he took part in a martial arts championship and proved he is just as much of an action star in real life as he took home the gold. The Venom actor, 45, showed off his strength as he took part in the UMAC Milton Keynes BJJ Open 2022, held at Oak Grove School in Milton Keynes on Saturday. He had secretly arranged to take part in the fight at a local school sports hall, where he went on to floor all his opponents. Crowds couldn't believe their eyes when the Hollywood star stepped out in a blue jiu-jitsu GI, which gave a flash of his toned physique and intricate tattoos. Tom looked action-ready and showed off his jiu-jitsu skills as he floored his opponents and amazingly fought his way to the final. The fighter, who holds a high-level blue belt in the ground-fighting combat sport, made short work of the competition as he won gold with an impressive armbar. He was seen posing with his gold medal and certificate, which featured his full name Edward Hardy, but he more commonly goes by his middle name Thomas. Took on Tom in the tense final and said the Hollywood Hardman brought the same level of intensity to the fight as he does to his action films. The father, who is a sales manager and blue belt. According to an event description of the UMAC BJJ Open, it was open to all BJJ belt levels in adult, juvenile and kids divisions. Andy Leatherland, 42 said he had entered the local event after realizing that Tom might be there. Andy Leatherland, 42, took on Tom in the final and said the Hollywood star brought the same level of intensity to the fight as he does to his action films. The father, who is a sales manager and blue belt, said he had entered the local event after realizing that Tom might be there. He said, I knew he fought in the last competition locally and won two golds. And I knew at that point that I fitted into his category. I was the same age, belt and weight as him. We used to joke that if he was to fight, I would be the one to fight him. But I didn't think anything of it. I was contemplating the Milton Keynes tournament as it was very local. And then one morning, he goes by the name Edward Hardy. I saw that he'd actually signed up. Andy said he found out the day before the competition that he would only fight Tom if they came face to face in the final or bronze level match. When he faced up to the actor, he said Tom was entirely focused during the fight. Lining up, he was very focused. The intensity that he brought to his movie roles, he brought that. He didn't say a word. He didn't say anything. When it came to the match, you couldn't help notice that it's him, but then it just became a competition. I made a mistake and he capitalized on that. He absolutely nailed it, and he subbed me. And it was over relatively quickly. Andy said Tom was absolutely sound when they chatted after the fight and admitted to him that he found the martial arts competitions nerve-wracking. When asked if he'd fight Tom Hardy again, Andy added, I would, absolutely. He said, I knew he fought in the last competition locally and won two golds. He said, when they put the bracket out the day before, I could see that I would only meet him if it went to a bronze level match or if I saw him in the final. And on the day, he won his first and second match, so I ended up meeting him in the final.